was recently up in Anacortes, Washington, visiting my parents when I had occasion to remember this song written by a, an old friend of mine named Bayard Johnson. I generally like to let the songs speak for themselves, but you should know this story is mostly true, and it's about a perfect storm that took place up in Alaska in 1983. This goes out to the crews and the families of the A-boats. Heard the news when I was hitchhiking from a kid driving a brand new Cadillac. He'd blown 35 grand in the last six weeks. Made all that money fishing for crab. He said, you can go fishing out of Kodiak, but you're better off working out of Dutch. A Tacoma boat made crew shares of 100 grand. He said, it all just depends on your luck. So I wandered up and down the Seattle docks, from the locks to the Portage Bay. Hit all the shipyards turning out new boats along the Duwamish waterway. They'd had over five boom years running, going back to 1976. I'd given up hope of being at the right place at the right time when I finally found a place on a ship. Some men dream of adventure. Some men dream of dreams. Some men don't dream of anything. Strange as that may seem. You can live your life for money. You can go out and rape the sea. You can trust your luck or you can bust your luck. And that's exactly what happened to me. The Lady Luck was a shrimper up from Louisiana. She had a funny motion and a following sea. They'd added 20 feet to her amidships. She didn't seem that stable to me. The mate was a big man named Bob McAllister. He hated my guts from first glance. He wanted to split the fifth man share among the rest of the crew. I said, hey, give the new guy a chance. He caught me loaning out my knife to another guy, a deckhand on the Andrew McGee. He said, there you go, giving away all our good luck. It ain't just superstition, you'll see. Then he caught me whistling in the galley. I thought he was going to tear off my head. Sure enough, I whistled up a storm in the Shelikov Strait. We are lucky we didn't all wind up dead. Some men dream of adventure. Some men dream of dreams. Some men don't dream of anything. Strange as that may seem. We picked up our gear in Dutch Harbor. Our luck was rotten from the first. Blowing a gale on opening day. And from there on, it just got worse. We lost more gear than we picked. We were losing money every day. Food and fuel cost more than we caught. You know, some seasons just turn out that way. I was out alone on the deck, chopping bait, when I saw a big crab hiding in the scupper. I felt some pity, and I threw him back into the sea. I heard McAllister screaming, calling me a damned landlubber. He took a swing at me in the galley. The ship rolled, and he missed. By luck, he hit the steel door instead of my face. But that's how McAllister busted his fist. You can live your life for money. You can go out and rape the sea. You can trust your luck, or you can bust your luck. And that's exactly what happened to me. The glass kept dropping, so did the mercury. With the screaming wind came the ice. We went out on deck with axes and hammers. We were working to save our lives, but we just couldn't keep ahead of the ice. It built up faster when we could knock it clear. I was up on the mast when she took her last roll, and that was my first real glimpse of fear. The freezing water felt like acid in my veins. I broke the surface gasping for air. I looked all around the spray-blown horizon. Lady Luck was gone. There was nothing there. But on 
the next wave, I saw a man struggling. It was McAllister, the only other one alive. A single survival suit came popping to the surface, right there at McAllister's side. Some men dream of adventure. Some men dream of dreams. Some men don't dream of anything, strange as that may seem. I felt for the sheath knife on my hip. McAllister reached the suit first. I swam toward him as he popped the snaps. He shouted, hey Greenhorn, this suit is yours. He showed me my name where it was written in black felt pen letters. He helped me pull on the suit and he zipped it tight. I held him until he wasn't breathing anymore. Then I let him go and he slipped out of sight. I was rescued by the Coast Guard chopper. I was saved by my survival suit's flashing strobe light. There were maydays all over the Bering Sea. Six ships went down that night. Some of us happened to be lucky. Some of us happened to die. I was saved by a man named Bob McAllister. And I don't have the slightest idea why. You can live your life for money. You can go out and rape the sea. You can trust your luck or you can bust your luck. And that's exactly what happened to Bob McAllister.